Ganesh, can you um, confirm for us whether you have indeed defaulted on your loans? Uh, we understand that ICRA has downgraded uh, loans on two of these SPV projects. Well, uh, you know, uh, there is no recourse to IDPL or LNP for that matter. Mm. And uh, all concession agreements are uh, implemented uh, on a standalone basis. Okay. So once the projects are completed, then in that case, the collections have to uh, repay the debt. Mm. In the case of, uh, in, in these two projects in question, I'll talk about each one separately. Mm. In the case of Chennai Tada, mm. we've been with this project since 2009. Mm. Uh, land has been coming to us in bits and pieces. Mm. Uh, we have hung on to the project. But uh, we find that almost 25% of the stretch, uh, the land will not be uh, the land will not be given to us because it's not possible, mm -hmm. and therefore it triggers you know the specter of termination. Mm -hmm. We have in fact, in line with the concession agreement, terminated the concession agreement in June, mm -hmm. and the matter is also in the court. Mm -hmm. uh, so consequently. The remedy for termination, as far as the bankers are concerned, is they have to approach the concessioning authority to collect their debt. Mm. And, uh, and uh, you know, we whatever is the money that is available in the escrow account, that is available for servicing. Whatever is the shortfall, after termination, the entire debt, as per the concession agreement, has to be paid up by the government authorities, in our opinion. So... so this has nothing to do with IDPL. It has nothing to do with LNT. It's a standalone SPV promoted by IDPL, and mm -hmm. the project is almost 55 percent of key. But thereafter, we can't do very much because of the fact that 25 percent of the land is not available. Okay, that's for Chennai, sir. What about the other yes. project? In the Gujarat project, it's a similar situation, but we have completed the project. Mm. However, the government of Gujarat uh, improved a parallel road and interconnected it with the existing stretch after a particular point. Mm -hmm. So the toll plaza before the diversion is recording a revenue which is not very far from the bid of financial closure, about 80-85%. But the toll plazas after the diversion are recording a lower collection. So we've been appealing to the government of Gujarat that look, Let's sit down and find a solution because you have improved the road after awarding the concession to us. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we are involving the banks and the government of Gujarat to find a solution on this matter. So what so is the total of... Technically, technically, the amount that is due mm -hmm. as of the due date is about 7 to 8 crores in the Gujarat project and about 8 crores in the Chennai Tata project. Mm -hmm. And that, this has nothing to do with the, uh, you know, with the uh, total quantum of the loan which will get repaid over the next 10, 15 years. It has nothing to do with recourse to IDPL. It has nothing to do with recourse to LNG. So what is the total quantum of the loan? The total quantum of the loan which is remaining outstanding is about 350 crores in case of Chennai Tata and about 1,000 crores in Halol Bodh. Okay. But is there a chance that uh, uh, the courts will not uh, take your plea on uh, the uh, Chennai project or is it a done deal? that uh, the uh, concession was violated by the uh, government party by not giving you the land and therefore uh, mandatorily NHAI has to pay. There is no legal squabble about it, is there? Well, uh, there is legal squabble to the extent that NHAI is contesting the termination. And it is being contested uh, where? It is in the, the courts? The ground, uh, but the facts on the ground are that land is not available. Okay. This is borne out by a huge amount of uh, cost. Okay. No, but is it in the courts? These projects are non-recourse. This is uh, precisely why these projects are non-recourse. I take your point. Is that uh, in the courts is what I'm asking. Uh, sorry, we've lost you, Mr. Venkatesh. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear okay. you. Okay. No, is it in, uh, is NHI contesting it in the courts now? As NHI is not contesting it in the courts as of now. What is being contested in the courts is basically between... Uh, you know, uh, to request NHAI and the banks to allow the escrow account to continue. So the matter in the court is on a different uh, on a different ground. But what NHAI is saying is NHAI is saying uh, NHAI and us are trying to find a solution to see how to how to continue the project. Okay. Our view is that the project needs to be said and the debt needs to be settled. So that is where it stands. All right, we we'll leave it at that. Thank you very.